my gosh. Hello. <laughs> Heard me? Hey, Choco Corneco, how's it going? It's nice to have you here. We're um we're finally doing Apico. The I think it's pronounced Apico because like apiary. Um, anyway, we're finally going to be playing Apico, the beekeeping simulation. Um, my sister's a beekeeper, so I'm actually really interested in uh, seeing what she thinks of this game. Um, why don't we go ahead and start a new world? Actually, I've got um I've got a couple. I got a multiplayer world and just a regular single player world, but I want to show off like the beginning of the game. Okay, let's see. We can fur. Why don't we? We'll we'll make our hair color blue because that's cool. Um, hold on. Then we. Oh, what kind of hair should we have? We could have a literal beehive for a hair. A hair, just one hair. Oh, I like this little ponytail. That's cute. We could have an afro. We could have. We could have. You know what? I'm gonna do this little shaved sides hair because I like it. Then. We will adjust our overalls color to be gray, and our undershirt will be yellow. Wait, should we have should we have it the other way around? With like um hair color yellow, I don't like that. What if we do um like this pony? Yeah, see that looks okay. That looks okay. Okay, so we're gonna call ourselves Bear, just like my other two characters on this game. <laughs> Let me know if um let me know if the sound is okay. Um I'm about to turn the volume up on the game because it's very quiet right now. I hit it up quiet so I could watch cartoons while I play. I'm probably not gonna spend too much time on Apico today and wait, did I change the category appropriately? Good, I did. Um I also want to play V Rising with Figgies, so I'm also going to be doing that. Um let me just tab back into the game because I had all all sorts of windows open. So, um, let's see. It's, it's, I'm not going to read the text because otherwise my voice is going to go out, but, um, we're coming from the city. We're setting sail to come to the islands to take care of bees. And, um, I'm not going to read all of this dialogue either. I, I'm just going to go through the, um, you know, the beekeeping process. This game is really cute. It just came out on Steam recently. Um, it's an indie game from a small... Like a couple of guys, I think? So a small studio. Um, we can talk to these NPCs, but I'm not sure why we would, except for lore reasons. You know, just like dialogue. Which is valid, but I don't care, so... <laughs> oh, the sound is good? Okay, 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 cool. Then I won't turn it up anymore. Okay. Yeah, no worries, Chaco. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to have you here. Lurk as much as you like. Okay, so... Oh my god, Dratchet. Hello! How's it going? Actually, I feel like the- I feel like the ambient sound is- oh. That would be why it feels really loud, because I guess the- the sound settings reset when you start a new save, or it's different for each save? I'm not sure. So I'll turn- I'll turn that up a little bit in a little bit. Okay, I think we'll be good still, probably. I don't know. Um, so you can see it's daytime. There's a day-night cycle. We have zero rubies, which is the currency. Um, so what is it? Oh, it's showing the weather. It's or no, the time of day. It's day. So maybe maybe there is weather. I actually yeah, I know there is weather. So we have this little island. We have a map right here. So I think these are randomly generated islands on each playthrough. Um, we can also go, we can talk to these NPCs and they actually have shops. We can talk to B. Wait, hold on. This is, hold on. This is Beatrix. Um, not to be confused with Beatrix, which, hold on. We have quests in the bottom left. Hey, thank you, Space Mousey. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun today. Um, we're going to be playing, oh gosh, I just cracked my knuckle right there. Um... We're going to be playing some beekeeping, relaxed, chill sim. And then we're going to be playing V-Rising PvP with Figgies, so that'll be fun. Um, let me quickly... I need to get Figgies' thirst on this scene. We'll take care of that later once we start V-Rising. Um, so, so we've got a quest line here. Um, and since this is our first quest, we're getting a freebie! Her name is Beatrice. It's not to be cons confused with Beatrix, who is the 
the shop owner for the like carpentry shop, I guess. Anyway, so we got we got we got a common bee, Beatrice. Uh, yeah, yeah, Beatrix is the um the shop owner. I was I was confused because I was like, hmm, we have a bee named Beatrice, <laughs> but it's not the, not quite the same name. Okay, so we finished a quest. I don't remember what we did, but maybe maybe we just accepted a quest, a reward, and it's like, okay, here's another another one. Okay, so it's giving us an axe as well, which we can use to... Let me just put it in a different slot, because I like having it in this fourth slot. I'm used to that. So we're going to chop down some trees. Well, first I want to look around the island, and, um... Hold on, I just realized my... Hold on. I just realized my stream lighting isn't on, because I was like, my mouth isn't moving that much. And I think it can't... The camera can't see me, so... Light is on now. I feel like it looks better already. <laughs> um... So I'm just looking for a spot to build our little house. We're going to have a little house and a little beekeeping farm. A little, like, what would you call that? My sister will tell me later. Um, also, there's this little, we can reclaim this little house here. That would be nice. Actually, I wonder if this is randomly generated or if it's pre-made. Because I remember seeing this house on my file with figgies. Mm. So we got wood flooring. We can put together some wood walls. More wood walls. Um... An empty wooden canister. Apice? Apice? See, I'm not sure if... There's like some fantasy magic bees in this game and like ingredients and stuff, so I'm never sure. Is this a real beekeeping thing or is it just, is it just part of the game? It's hard for... I don't know that much about bees and beekeeping. Which is part of the, the joy of this game is like it can teach you a little bit about bees. But, but also you have to be careful because some of the information is, you know, fantasy stuff. <laughs> So you gotta be careful there. Um, oh, hey, we got another... No, we didn't get another quest. We just unlocked new recipes. So we gotta make a saw bench, which you can make with 10 logs. So we need to chop down more trees, because right now we have six logs. Boop. Boop. Okay, so we got... It's just teaching us how to use our inventory, basically. So, um, it's giving us a workbench, but we already have one here. So I'm not sure what to do with that. We'll put it away in storage. We'll put the extra one away in storage. How do I, how do I move this again? Hold on. Boop. There we go. Okay. Um, so the next thing we want to do is make that saw bench. And then we will place it down somewhere. We'll just put it right here. You can, it's kind of like, this is a cute little game you can decorate a little bit. Build your own house. There's a little carpet right here and a bed. It's very sweet. All right, so saw bench. We'll put some logs here. And there, basically there's a mini game, like with these production um, workshop tools have little mini games. You just gotta drag this to the right and then back to the left. Um, which there's also some accessibility options in this game. So if you um, can't use a mouse or you have maybe a repetitive stress injury or something like that, which I do. So that's cool that, um, basically, hold on, let me get some more logs and I'll show it off real quick. Log, log, log. We got one log. But, um, I guess you guys can't see my keyboard, but, like, um, you can also just, you'll put the log in there. And then you can use log, log, log. Exactly. It's my new catchphrase. Log, log, log. Um, but you can just use the right and left arrow keys, which might be easier for some gamers. So that's pretty cool. Egg, egg, egg. We don't have eggs today. I, tr I was I was trying, I was a little bit, like, quote-unquote late to the to starting the stream up today because I wanted to um, turn the egg redeem back on, but I couldn't get it to work, and I was just like, eh, I'm a little late. And by late, I mean less early. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so there's no, there's no, you can't throw these at me anymore. Not right now, at least, but I will, I will re-implement the V-throwing. <laughs> Or the egg throwing. I guess it's- I could have like lots of different things you could throw at me depending on the game. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't it be cute if you could throw bees at me? Bees and bees? Or would it, would it be like a, a- like an animal? Like an insect bee? Or would it be a letter bee? Because <laughs> the bees are letter bees. Okay, so at this point, I'm just kind of deforesting the whole area. Because conservation it's for schmucks. I'm just kidding. Conservation is great. V-shaped bees? Oh shit. Or like like letter V's that are like striped yellow and black. <laughs> That'd be funny. 
Okay, so we got a lot of wood now, which is cool. We're getting little acorns that we can plant on the ground to get more trees. Um, we can also put them in storage because they do take up a lot of space after a while. Um, hold on a second, I'm going to get a drink. I also keep forgetting we fin to check quests. Because we finished a quest. And we got some logs for free. We didn't even have to destroy a rainforest. Okay. Um, what was I doing next? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Um, so we gotta actually work with bees at some point. Um, when you first start out, there's three kinds of bees. There's the, um, the common bee, which, um, you just put in, like, they're in the yellow- Where's a yellow hive? Can I find a yellow hive somewhere? I know there were- there's one right up there. Let's go up there. Let's go up there. So I'm going to show off all the different kinds of bees. Um, and you can crossbreed bees and find new species and stuff. It's really cool. Okay, so here's a hive. A common bee hive. And you can see, if you look at- if you hold shift to look at the bees' traits, you can see there's different, like, little colors- colored icons there. Dratchet asks, do you get to make an apiary? Yes, you get to make apiaries. You do. You do. You can make them. We can't make them quite yet, but we'll unlock them soon. Um, but yeah, so you can see these bees have these different, like, uh, like green four, yellow four, red four, or blue four. Um, so those are the various stats. I think... Hold on, will it tell... Oh, another quest. We got another axe. Okay. Um, I think we'll get a guidebook soon that will teach us more about bees. I think I just have to grab a bee or something? How do I get this thing? I don't remember. Um, well, we'll get it soon. Here's a- we- did we finish another quest? That's crazy. They're just giving- oh, and we finished more quests. There's so many. So many that we're just, like, getting for free. Um, oh, and there's apparently a picture-taking mode where you can just, like, remove the UI and just take screenshots of the game. That's really cute. I, I like, I don't know. I wish more games, like, probably more games do that, but, like, like, that I just don't notice, but I love taking, like, artistic screenshots of games. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we can go in this wild hive and harvest some honeycombs and, oh my god, new recipes unlocked. Yeah, exactly, Dresha. I love it. I love it when you can remove the UI too, because it's like mm, you can just take like pretty pictures and sh share share them, or save them forever. Um, so anyway, we've got we've got. Do we have any bees with different traits? Yeah, we do actually. Um, let's see. So the green the green number on the right, um, is I think the lifespan stat. Uh, P is productivity. That's a yellow one. Red is. I don't remember. And blue, I don't know what letter that is. I don't know what the red ones or blue ones are, but I'll, I'm sure I'll refresh my memory soon. So, um, anyway, you can see that this bee has a four green stat, a four yellow stat, a four red stat, and I think there's a recessive four blue, and then a, like, primary... I don't really know how genetics works, but basically there's light genetics simulation in this game. Um, so if we take this bee that has four, 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 kind of four kind of five. We'll put that in the, um, these, this input slot, and then we'll have this other bee of this one. Actually, we'll pick this one. It's got, like, three, kind of three, kind of four, kind of four, kind of five. So, um, we'll, if we put two bees in these slots, then we'll breed the bees, and it just takes, like, a little bit of time. So, two more seconds, and the bees will be bred. And now we've got this queen bee. It's a purebred common bee. And, um, I guess it has the stats of the upper bee, the like the bee that was in this slot of the UI, but the children it has, it's gonna have little, little bee puppies. What are those called? Larva? Little bee puppies. <laughs> um, so that that's gonna take like another thirty seconds, and then the babies will be a mix of the genes from the queen and the bee that bred with her. My sister's probably cringing right now because she knows, like, she's like, it's a, it's, this is the ter this term that you use for that. She's, she's good with bees. She likes bees. Um, let's see, so, well, wait, actually, she's, like, really close to finishing her, her production. Or wait, no, she doesn't have babies until her lifespan ends, which isn't for, like, three minutes. Okay, so, real quick, let's just see what happens when she produces 
items. Just a little honeycomb right here. So now we have five honeycombs, which is actually perfect. We'll come back to this hive later. Um, but real quick, I think five honeycombs is enough to make an apiary, but I don't remember. So we'll check. We'll check. A lot of stuff requires honeycombs to craft in this game. So, uh, apiary, basic apiary requires 10 honeycomb, but, 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 um, well, it also requires wood and stuff, but you can make just like a regular beehive with 10 honeycomb. Also, um, I still haven't shown off the, like, different kinds of bees. So this is a verge bee. I don't know if this is a real species or what, but they live in the water. That seems fake, right? <laughs> like, does anyone else think that bees living in the water sounds fake? Is it just me? Anyway. So they live in hives that go on the water. And let's see different stats. We can breed these, these verge bees. Um, we will eventually be able to crossbreed bees, but we can't do it on this regular old hive. Also, um, there seems to be a, like a rare kind of bee that's called Blessed Bee, and it's just like a shiny from Pokemon, I think. It's just like, you've got to collect it, and it's rare or something. I'll put that in my inventory, because it's very rare and shiny. <laughs> oh, my mom's home. Anyway, um, we're going to go back. I think maybe we've spent enough time fiddling around that the queen will be finished with her lifespan and made babies. Yes, the queen is gone, and she has made three babies, which... Oh, they all have the same stats, so it's just four, 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 four. Okay. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm not 100% sure how the genetics works in this game, but it's pretty neat. Just like, like, I'm sure I'd figure it out if I gave it some more time, you know? Hold on a second. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, let's see, we've got, like, we've just got, we've just got a ton of bees everywhere. It's pretty cool. Anyway, um, so, you can also, well, we will eventually, is there any honeycomb in there? No. But, um, we can collect some honeycombs from these wild beehives and breed, ooh, those are some weird looking stats. Hold on. No, I like the, I like the weird looking stats better than those ones. So we're just gonna breed these bees, and they'll make they'll make more honeycomb over time, and we can use it to craft stuff and build stuff. Um, let's just let's just get back home because there's so many trees in the way; it's hard to move around. There we go, and we're almost home. We just there's so many trees in the way. I now understand why people are chopping down all of the forests. No, I'm I'm not really though. To be fair. This is, like, having too many trees to move probably happens on, like, highways and shit. Deforestation on highways and shit. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, okay. So we can actually make an apiary now. We have enough, we have enough, um, bee, bee, honeycomb, honeycomb bee, um, to make a apiary. We just need more, um, we just need to process more wood into planks. So. We're gonna go ahead and right. Wait, this isn't the sawmill or the saw bench. Okay, saw bench time. Okay, so I'll put that there. We've got like a buttload of wood on us on us, so I'm just gonna use the arrow keys to be honest, because I feel like it's easier for me. There's also various other accessibility options, like um I don't remember. I I here, let's check them out actually. We got like yeah, like you could skip the mini games, I think is what this does. Um, you can walk through- oh, hell, hit blah blah Hmm. You can walk through trees if you want to. You can, um, always expand the tooltips instead of having to hold down shift. Yeah, see, there's just, just, just this kind of nonsense, which is very nice to have, I think. Okay, so we're just gonna chop, or, like, saw more boards. Or planks. We also get sawdust from this, which I think you can use to make sawdust bricks. Which, um, you can, like, burn in a smoker or something to, like, make the bees docile or whatever. I don't really know how that works, but, um, you use it in a smoker to, like, harvest from bees that are punchy boys and girl. Okay, so we can make our first apiary now, which is pretty nice. We're gonna go ahead and make that. Um, so it's in our inventory right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it just like out front, out here. Oh, there we go. So we'll we're gonna um what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this colony bee 
and we're gonna breed uh, breed it with this verge bee. And um, theoretically, this should give us a hybrid species or breed. This is a different breed, not a species. So, this is a common verge queen. So yeah, this is a crossbreed, crossbred bee. Um, we got all of these. We got all of these other common bees. We should do something with them. Here, I'll just put them in the excess storage here. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know what to do with them right now. Um, also, your bees will want flowers to snack on, or I guess they don't snack on the fl you know what I mean. But like, they will want flowers to pollinate. So we'll put fl a flower down by the apiary. You can see, I think, I well, you can see it when I'm not when I'm hovered over. It. <laughs> okay, this this white area is the area where the bees pollinate. I'm fairly sure. So, um, we're also gonna want well, I think this was actually in range, but we'll want these little lily flowers, um, and then they'll basically like over time your bees will like cross pollinate new flower species or breeds or I don't know. You'll get new flowers because your bees are doing that pollination thing. That's all I know. Let's see. Wooden wooden hammer. Can I not build a... Oh, right. We can further refine our wooden planks and get access to new tools and such. So we'll just get these little sticks. Little old stick guys. Carpentry 101. We got another quest reward. Oh my gosh. What do we get? Lots and lots of planks. Wonderful. Um, but what I wanted to do was build a hammer. Because a, ha a, ha a, ha a hammer... <clears throat> Jesus, I can't talk today. Hammer will allow us to... Um, what, is, what does it do? It allows us to remove um, buildings and decorations and such. So we can replace all of this grassy stuff with walls and uh, floors and stuff. Hammer! I hardly know her! That's a good one, Figgies. That's a good one. <laughs> okay. Um. Right. I was gonna put could put some floors down and stuff. Just just put the floor down, bud. Just put the floor down, please. Do it. Oh, I guess I can't do it. Hmm, I'm squinting. So I'm not sure why it won't let me do that. <laughs> okay. Um. However, I will use the hammer and. Grab oh, it's because there's a flower there. I want that flower. Uh, here we go. More floor. More. F Give me the floor, please. You can't place tiles on top of things. What is on top of- where it is there? There's nothing there. Not sure what the game is talking about, but we'll just have a patch of grass in our house. We'll just do it that way. Okay. So, our bees are sleeping because it's nighttime. Um, there are some bee species, or bees or whatever, in the game. I don't know if it works this way IRL. But in the game, there are some bee breeds that are nocturnal, so that's pretty neat. Um, we also have to actually, like, we have more items that we need to make before we can actually harvest bee produce from the apiary. So we're just going to collect some more honeycombs and um, breed some more bees. So then... Oh, uh, there's also... Are these bees awake at night? Or no? I guess they are. Um, but these are forest bees. Again, I don't know if this is- I don't know if this is a real species, but, um, I don't know if any of the bees in this game are real breeds slash species, but I think it's just, like, general stuff that you can learn about beekeeping, like, um, like, I don't know, like, basic, like, you know, like, genetics and, um, you know, like, pollination and shit. Like, people need to know about pollination. That's important. Um, okay, so... Yeah, no, so they're asleep. The forest bees are asleep. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take some home though. I'm gonna take some forest bees home though. Yeah, you gotta know about pollination. If you don't know about pollination, who even are you? You know, like everybody's gotta know about pollination. It's very, very important. And if we go in this bed, will we sleep through the night? Oh I see it fast forwards through the night. That's awesome. I wonder if it fast forwards through the day too, if you just like your bed fast forwards time. Yeah, it looks that way. Well, anyway, that's very neat. Um, so you can see she's kind of like, her lifespan's going down. Um, she's, well, actually, she is producing things? Hmm. Because we need some 
wooden frames to oh god we have enough materials for one fantastic so we're gonna put a wooden frame in the apiary and that is where um we get the actual bee products they like just get stuck in there i guess it's like what does it say does it give it doesn't give me any uh lore <laughs> It doesn't give me the um the the information about the wooden frame. Hold on, can I get it in here? Finding bees. We've already found bees, you silly. Oh wait. We haven't we haven't picked up a verge bee yet. Hold on. We're gonna do that to finish that quest. We got a verge bee right over here. We got a verge queen right over here producing honeycombs. And there we go. Which did, did we not finish the Oh maybe we have to pick up a queen. Gimme the gimme the gimme. What? We still didn't What happened to our common bee? This quest is this quest is not happy with us right now. We keep removing bees, I guess. Okay, there we go. So we have we can claim our reward, which is one beehive. Um, yeah. So, so like in the handbook for the game, where it's just like your quests and stuff, it does give little educational information. Well, okay, kind of. No, this is just game. This is just game mechanics. I swear there's educational content somewhere. I mean, I know it's there. I'm not saying like, oh, it's totally not there. No, it's there. I'm just having a bad time explaining it or showing it off. So anyway, we've got this full filled wooden frame. Um, first thing we have to do that is uncap it, which I guess means like removing the glass. I'm not sure. Um, so we're going to want this uncapping bench, which we need two more wooden frames for. Which is a problem. Hold on, let me move my phone. My phone is being weird. Um, I don't know if that helps. Um, but it's a problem because we need more bee... Not beeswax, honeycomb. We need more honeycombs to make the um, next uh, frame that we need. So boop, boop, we'll just breed all of these bees. There is an instant breed button, so you don't have to like click the bees into the slots. Which is really handy when you just want honeycombs. And you don't care about the bee genetics right now, you know? I'll get more honeycomb and I will re-breed the bees. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I think we... How much honeycomb do we have, actually? We don't have enough yet. No! I require... I require three more honeycomb, please. Three more. Oh, here's another verge beehive. I think we have the three more. We have the... Yeah, we have a total of ten. Which should make two... Wait... Did we need ten or five? Anyway, we have enough. We have enough honeycomb now that we can uh, make the wooden frame that we need to make. Uh, another wooden frame. There we go. Um, and from blah, with that, we can make an uncapping bench, which we need logs for. Which I put our logs away right here. So I'll craft that sucker. So we have an uncapping bench now, which I'm just gonna stick that right there. You know, we don't have a wall over there. We need something to block the the wind from getting into our house i don't know um okay so we do have our filled wooden frame and we'll stick it hold on so let's close the apiary window real quick come on come on there we go and we will stick it in this uncapping bench again i'm gonna use my arrow keys because that just seems easier for me we do a little bit uh, so one thing annoying that's annoying about this is you have to be hovering over um the window even if you're using the air keys so the, if the devs are watching i would recommend to fix that because i don't like it <laughs> um this game did just come out though so a little bit of you know a little bit of that kind of thing is to be expected to be expected uh, if you will um then the extractor is the next thing we need to uh, build but that's gonna take 10 glue and the only source of glue we have right now is propolis i don't know how to pronounce that it is a product that actually is there any tooltip that tells me what it is it's st sticky and it's used in crafting beekeeping items in this game so uh we can turn it into glue one or it's one glue per two propolis um and so we're gonna need to make a whole bunch more wooden frames fill them up and uncap them because that's currently our only source of that stuff we will also be oh wait hold on we get we acquired an undiscovered bee what kind? What kind? This? So we got a, a discovery. What is it? What is it? Learn more. This is Apis clarus, the vibrant bee. The vibrant bee has evolved a way to cool itself using water from the environment. 
uh, allowing it to operate at a slightly higher metabolic rate than its common cousins. And I'm guessing this is a fantasy bee breed, but that's okay. This is still really awesome. I like it. I love that you can, like, just, like, cross bead, bead? Cross bead? Cross breed bee breeds. It's, it's, it's really cute and fun. So, we're gonna put that in our inventory. And we only have one of them, actually. So I'm wondering what happens if we crossbreed a vibrant bee with another common bee. I'm just gonna do that. I'm guessing it'll give us a vibrant common bee? Maybe? I don't know. A vibrant, just reg- yeah, vibrant common queen. Okay, cool. So you- and, and in that manner, you can just keep on crossbreeding new species of bees. Breeds? I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. Like, like for me, the beekeeping non-expert, it doesn't matter what term I use. You guys aren't going to correct me. You guys aren't going to gatekeep me. Let's see, so we got more of that stuff. Basically, we just have to keep looking at wild hives now to get um, honeycomb. Or like, because I don't think we have a um, just like a regular bee hive at home. But we could also uh, keep our own bees outside of, you know, like in our house or yard or whatever. Um, and then get the honeycomb from it and use that for crafting. So we're just like, we're just kind of foraging at the moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I hear you, Dratchet. We are, we are all mutually ignorant about bees right now. Bees are kind of like cute. I don't like bugs. I don't want to look at a bee up close. I don't want to touch a bee. But, like, when you think about, like, bees as bugs, right? They're, like, the cutest fucking bugs out of all of the bugs. True or false? Like, they're little fluffy guys. Like, they're just little fluffies. You know? Yeah, like, out of all the bugs that exist, bees are, like, doggos. <laughs> the doggo of bugs. The best, the bestest bug right my wolf spiders hand down cute it fuck you fuck you right now no that is that is false don't bring up wolf spiders in my house we don't talk about them here no no spiders in this house not allowed jumping spiders also not allowed holy shit you're just- you're just digging yourself in further and further into a corner, hun. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They're cute, though, says Figgies. <laughs> nah, that ain't true. That- that ain't true. No. What? No. You're gonna- you're gonna make me... Like... Remember that bugs exist while we're playing a beekeeping game. They're harmless. Yeah, okay. They still gonna make me freak out. That's not harmless. <laughs> no, but like, no. Like, I love, like, spiders are cool. They're chill. They eat other bugs. They're, na you know, like, necessary to the, to the ecosystem or whatever the fuck. I still don't want them in my house. What? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. No bugs in my house, please. None. I don't want to see them. I don't want to touch them. But they're cool, though. Like, I'm fine with them. I'm like, we're chill. Just just stay away, please. What about mantids? Uh, mm -hmm. Mantids are cool, but, like, not cute. Are not mantises, like... Aren't they, like... Okay, so... You obviously know a lot about bugs, figgies. Oh, wait, I remember. Yeah, you're a bug girl. But, like, okay. Is it true that mantises eat, um... What is it called? What, like, the, 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 the hummingbird. Can a mantis kill and eat a hummingbird? Is that true? I heard that one time. And, like... Is that true? You want to say probably? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably. I feel, I feel, cause somebody, somebody was telling me that once, and they linked a video, and they were like, "If you want to see it, you're gonna see it." And I'm like, "I don't want to see it. I'll, I'll take your word for it." <laughs> they can kill hummingbirds. Okay, okay. Did you just Google that, figgies? 
Did you just Google that? Did you just fucking Google that shit? Can a praying mantis eat, kill and eat a hummingbird? Alexa, what is wrong with me? <laughs> no. <laughs> My god. Okay, so we have these. We just gotta store those somewhere because we're not we're not gonna be um, using these uncapped wooden frames for for until we get our extractor. So we need nine more propolis. Pro propolis. I don't know. <laughs> so search engine is in fact the strongest tool. Um. Okay, that's accurate though. Like, where is the lie? Like. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna store this as well. We just got so much crap in here. We got- oh, we need five more of this weird yellow stuff. Weird yellow stuff can basically describe any product that's created by a bee. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. I'm not the, the ex-beard. I'm not the, uh, Athora bee. No. I'm I'm not a detective. Hmm. I'm none of those things. Hmm. Okay, so we should hey we hey we blah, blah, blah. we got another quest. Yay. Um and one of those is filled and we need a new queen. Okay, so common viral blah, blah, blah. Vi what if we- so we have two vibrant bees now, kind of. What if- what happens if we breed the vibrant common and the vibrant bee together? Do we just get vibrant? Or is it still- we got a common vibrant queen. Ooh. So there's- there's just some- there is some genetic shit going on in there somewhere. There's gotta be. I don't know how genetics works, but that's- that's what it is, right? That's what's going on there. Oh hey, we got- we got five more of the weird yellow stuff. Okay. Um, so we're gonna turn that into glue real quick. Glue, 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 glue. Dratchet says, can we agree that ticks are awful? Who likes ticks? I think I saw... Have I seen a tick VTuber? Or was that just like a thought I had? Like, who wants to be the tick VTuber? Yeah, I don't think they're... I don't think I've seen one. But like, who would want to be a tick VTuber? For real. Okay, so we can make the extractor now. Extractor blah 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 blah. Where are you, buddy? Uh, extractor. And we need some stone. Should we... I don't think we have any yet, yet, actually. We need to make a wooden pickaxe. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, we need sticks. Gimme the sticks. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Where did our... Oh, we have our saw... We have our saw bench. In our inventory this whole time. Okay. We're gonna make more sticks. Tick VTuber could be kind of cool or really nasty. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like... I don't, I'm not gonna say it. Let's see. Um, so we have a wooden pickaxe that we're gonna use now to get some little pebbles and such. There are, we got little pebbles up there. We're gonna go get some little pebbles. Uh, there's actually some here over here as well. Let's see. Pimp my hive. We finished the pimp my hive quest. Wonderful. Oh, we got the bee, the bee guide now. Wait, we already had that. Anyway, um, more little pebbles. How many do we have now? Four. We need many more. We need many more pebbles. There we go. We'll just keep. So this pickaxe cannot um damage the really big rocks. So we can't use those. We have to use these little pebby peb peb pebbles. Holy shit! I can't talk tonight at all. Like at all. <laughs> Let's see. Where is more pebblies? Where is more pebblies? I don't see any. Oh hey, more pebblies. Heck yeah. We should have enough for the um or is it, does it take twenty or forty? Well we now we have forty. Wait, what else is in here? Waterproofing. Hey. Um, so we're gonna go back home if we can get through these trees at some point. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there's just so many and they're so hard to walk through. <laughs> How are 
are you guys doing tonight, by the way? How are you guys doing? Boop. Tree, tree, tree. Um... Oh, right. We were gonna make a, um... What were we gonna make? We are gonna make something with stone, but I'm... Aha! The extractor. So, we have the extractor now. I'm gonna put... I, yeah, I'm just gonna put it in this corner right here. Dratchet says she is making supper. That sounds tasty. Very, very tasty. Mm-hmm. What are you having for supper, Dratchet? Do I... Should I come over to your house? Should I... Should I beam myself over to your house? How delicious is it? How delicious is it gonna be? How bad am I gonna feel for not being there? <laughs> Alright. So, we're gonna extract, um... Bee things from these frames. Ah, shit. Making supper sounds super. See, now I've said it. Now There you go. There you go. You're having spaghetti? See, that's... Super getty. There you go. There you fucking go, girl. Okay, so... We got... Hold on. We got some, um... I think bees knees is a new flower that we hadn't discovered yet. We also got some honey. A little bit of honey. Uh, 30 bila liters. So, we got, we got a little bit of honey. 30 bila liters. So, we got a new flower. It goes in here. It's called... Wait, is this... Yeah, it's called Bee's Knees. It's, um... We don't actually have a flower guide yet. A flower field guide. Let's go in our bed for a little bit. Just a little bit. But yeah, in this manner, you can make money from your bee products. You can crossbreed all kinds of new things. What is this? What is this? What is this? Exclamation point. Oh, it's got stuff in it. That's why it's yelling at me. Okay. I really want to wait for- I want to wait for this fucking flower to grow. And then I can pick it up and it'll be like, Hey, you found a new flower. Honestly, I'm debating on making tonight's stream- <clears throat> Pardon me. A short one. Um, cause I do want to go play V Rising with Figgies. I could do that on stream. But I've also been feeling really drained lately. I kind of want to just, like, vibe. <laughs> so I'm thinking I'll make tonight's stream a really short one. But I do want to wait for this flower to grow at least, if nothing else. I love seeing you guys. I miss you guys. I know I streamed like like 15 hours last week, so I don't know what I'm even saying. <laughs> but yeah. I guess I'm still recovering from that short period of like, I guess it was like a- oh, I guess it was like almost a month. Where like I couldn't stream hardly at all. I guess I'm still recovering from that. Because I just like, I want to stream all the time. Well, like, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, the apiary. We got common vibrant bee, vibrant bee. Okay, let me just- we're just gonna breed more bees. Oh, another thing you can do is you can rehabilitate bees to um, help with conservation in the game. Let's see, the rehabilitator only takes a little bit more wood compared to what we have, so we'll just grab- hold on. We could get rid of this window. There we go. But oh, we don't have room. Hold on. Oop. Okay, rehabilitator. We're gonna craft one of those, and we'll stick it like over here, I guess. I know it's really neat. Yeah. Also, a portion of the proceeds from this game go to a uh, charity that um, helps educate beekeepers and deal with like conservation education. I think so. That's really neat. Very, very neat. I guess you could call it the bee's knees. I kind of stole that joke. That's where the flowers, the of the flowers is called, but... Low-hanging, uh, low-hanging fruit, as it were. Okay, so, um, we can take these bees and stick them in the rehabilitator, and they'll go into the wild, and... You can see in the bee field guide, um, the common bee is... Conservation status is thriving. This species is saved. Um, I don't know, I don't know why there's this, like, this, like, um, little metal on the side, but not for the forest bee or the verge bee, I'm not sure. Maybe because we haven't discovered everything about it yet? Anyway, the vibrant bee conservation status is lost. 
I'm making most of the jokes, Stratchet. I'm making most of them. Um, but yeah, so so we can we can bring back the um what's it called? The vibrant bee <clears throat> by rehabilitating most of the So the rehabilitating joke is in the game, but like I made my own I made I made a bunch of them earlier. I'll have to clip them later. <laughs> I'll have to clip them later. Okay, there we go. Oh, we just- yeah, okay, hold on. I'm just like thinking to myself a little bit. Okay, so we got this. We can extract products, B products, out of these uh, frames now. These little uh, frames? Yeah, I don't know what else to call them. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna- we're just gonna um, extract shit. There we go. We got honey rose seeds. I think this is our common seeds, actually, so. And we got more honey rose seeds. Okay, we just basically, we just need to plant more different flowers around the bees in the apiary. Yeah, no, I can't, I can't read any of this stuff either. It's, it's written in a very small pixel font, so. Um, but what seeds? Do we have any new seeds? Beekeeper's Delight, honey rose. We don't have any new seeds, but that's okay. Also, the flowers will actually spread around um, in the area of the beehive, which is really neat. <laughs> okay, I'm just wait. No, we're putting that one back. We're putting that one back, and then we're getting this one, and then we're putting that one back. Okay. But yeah, it's just kind of like a continuous process like this of just like breeding your bees, crafting stuff, etc. Um, you can also like do some other stuff like um drain tap sap from tree trunks tree, trees um to uh get tree resin and make like more advanced uh wood and workshops and stuff then you can also oh hey we got we got goldenrod seeds so that's another new flower type that we crossbred and we'll put that in the area of our bee apiary and um then the bees will crossbreed other flowers with it yeah, so it's just like this, basically. Um, and then you can also, you can get honey, you can sell the honey, you can make it into, uh, like, s cola? <laughs> There's this thing in the game called Apy Cola, which I'm guessing is fake. Um, it's just like honey and water. <laughs> it's just honey and water. I don't know, you guys could put honey and water in a, a barrel and in a keg and drink it and see if it tastes good. Doesn't, doesn't, like, like milk and honey is good, like, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Would it be tasty? What do you guys think? Do you think it would be tasty? Um, there are also some, like, very distinctly and obviously fantasy, like, magic bee breeds in the game. So, just as an example, do I have my stone anywhere? I have it on me, in my inventory. Let me drop off some stuff I don't need. Oop. And then we will make... A stone. Oh, hold on. I gotta get. I gotta get more sticks. Gotta get more sticks. Hold on. What kind of wood do we have? We just have. We just need more sticks. Hold on. Oh my god. Um, I will say, a lot of people like the menus in this game. I'm not sure that I do. Honey water is hummingbirds. Hummingbird food. I. I don't see why it wouldn't taste good. You're right. Actually, you're right. Okay, so, wait, do I have enough? Yeah, okay, so sticks and stones won't break my bones, but they will break this giant rock. This giant, giant rock that's, uh, down here. And then, I think this is scripted, so when we kill this large rock, we get our very first rocky bee. We get a rocky bee. Apis Petra, the rocky bee. Yeah, so this is very fake, but, like, not in a bad way. It's just it's just got magic bees in this game. It's cool. Also, if you look at the map, this is a very small portion of the map, but we can't access the other islands yet. I don't think I think we have to like um, breed more bee species and then they'll unlock. But I'm not sure, so don't take my word for it. But yeah, there's there's a lot of exploration you can do. It's pretty neat. Vibrant common common vibrant blah 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 blah. I want to breed more bees. Won't break your bones because you don't have any. That's true, I am a robot after all. That's true. Sometimes I just forget. Sometimes I just forget. Like, it reminds you vaguely of an idle phone game, 
that's not a bad comparison, honestly. Like, there's there's a little bit of, like, like it's very casual and crafting-y, you know? Which there's a lot of mobile games that do that same thing. I think it's also, like, I don't know. I think I, I have enjoyed the time I've spent with it so far. I don't know how much time, how much more time I'm going to spend with it. But I would say, like, like I'm happy I grabbed it. It's very cute and relaxing. And I could see myself just not collecting maybe all of the bees. Oh, a specific one with funny bee types. Oh, really? So not, like, mechanically? Anyway. Um, but I could see myself, like, not collecting every single bee um, breed. Because, just because I can't pay attention to one game for that long. But I would like to collect more species and be like, oh, yeah, I want to get all of them. Even though I know I'm not gonna, you know. Let's see. What am I gonna even eat for dinner tonight? Spaghetti does sound really good. You've made me want spaghetti dressing. it. Okay, so let's head back home. Um, and we, then we can breed rocky bees with other bees. We can just breed purebred rocky bees. Yeah. So many bees we can get. So many. Okay, hold on. There we go. We're almost there. Oh, it's right up here. It's right up here. Okay. I just kind of want to see what kind of baby she gets. Yeah, I hear you. I like- I love collecting games. Not like- not like- I don't know if I would say I like collect-a-thons, because I feel like collect-a-thon describes a very specific type of game like Banjo-Kazooie or whatever, and I'm like, Eh, I'm kind of eh on that. Like, Banjo-Kazooie was a great game, but I also don't really enjoy platformers. So it's not, like, my cup of tea. You know? Um. My eye tracking has been really off today. I wonder if it's just the angle my phone's at. I don't know. But I keep, like, blink, blink, blinking so much. Blinking. Um. But, yeah. Too much blinking. Not enough. Not enough, um. Not enough Gundamize. Not enough, not enough. Never never enough, to be fair. Benjo Kazooie is like the one collectathon exception. <laughs> yeah, well But like I love collecting in games, like like Animal Crossing collecting, like just get every item in the catalog, that kind of thing. I fucking love that shit. I fucking love it. But like I don't know, it's just like just like getting all of the like shit you can get. Like, all of the power-ups or whatever, you know, like, all of the, you know, like, special items just for, like, achievements, not my thing. But, like, when I can collect them and, like, I don't know, do stuff with- I don't know. I don't know. It is dusk right now. Oh, hey, 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 our bees knees finished growing. Boop. And we got- wait, we got new recipes from what? Where do we get new recipes from? The bees knees? Oh, we must have gotten this purple dye. That's cool. Brad just says, what's Banjo-Kazooie? Wait, really? Banjo-Kazooie... Okay, so, for those who don't know, if there are... Yeah, if anyone doesn't know, Banjo-Kazooie is a Nintendo 64 game from... Very long ago, when I was very small. Um, and it's a 3D platformer. One of the one of the first of its kind, I guess. Um, and everybody loves it, because it's a good game. Basically. God, I hear that. I hear that, Figgies. Yes, yeah, so we can make purple dye and turn everything purple now. Oh my gosh. I just want- I want to check on our bees. So we got- we got- Man. We got just like purebred common bees again. That's so cool. UK's last great export was Banjo-Kazooie. Oh my gosh. That's funny. Um, I think I am going to call the stream, like, super early tonight. I just, um, I want to go eat dinner. I want to go... Oh, heck. Um, I want to go, um, just, like, chill out. Like, not that I don't chill on stream. I always say this, but, like, not that I don't chill on stream. I have such a great time. But I think I'm feeling a little socially burnt out after, like, ten hours of streaming this weekend. <laughs> which was so fun, but it's just, just maybe too much. Um... So thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching me play this little this little beekeeping game. Um, that's really all I've got to say. I've got links to my Discord server 
and my Twitter and my coffee on my um, Twitch About section. Shout out to Ghost Sphere Games who is supporting me on coffee right now. What am I having for dinner? Asks Dratchet. I have no idea, to be honest. Um, thank you for the applause. Is that is that working right? Hopefully that's working right. I'm just, I, just, I need to check this now. I need to check this right now. Right now before I end the stream. Yes, that should be working. <laughs> Alright, well I'll talk to you guys later then. Love you all.